little over 23 years. Uh, all of that has been street patrol. And, uh, you know, I just enjoy being outdoors and uh, working with the citizens in the community. And the best part for me is just putting bad guys in jail. I love catching the crooks. There's going to be a no license plate silver pickup occupied by a black male driver. White and yellow stuff on the back. Like okay, we're know. en route to a robbery that just occurred at the donut shop down the street here. And uh, while en route, the dispatcher just gave us information that the suspect is headed our way and a gray Chevrolet extended cab truck occupied by a black male. So if he continues this way, we should pick him up here in just a minute. Who's calling that in, sir? It's going to be... Uh, he's going to be called in from a guy named Luther. Looks like he's just a citizen that was driving by. They're rolling. Okay, he's going to run. He's running. Okay, do you have a direction from? Yeah, we're westbound. Very he's Okay, he's going to have to turn. He's going to go southbound. Southbound on 80th. Uh, it's occupied by, it looks like a heavy set black male. Uh, it's a gray Chevrolet extended cab. We're southbound, gonna go back westbound. He's gotta go westbound. Okay, he's westbound. Y'all hang out on Harrisburg. He's in the neighborhood here. We're gonna go back to 79th. We're currently westbound on Harrisburg. No, sir, we're not on Harrisburg. We're in the neighborhood. We're going back northbound on 79th toward Harrisburg. Primary unit, get the plate, get the plate. 51 George Young. Southbound on 78th. Get K9 and Fox. This is going to be the robbery suspect. He's going to go back on 80th, uh, southbound 80th. You guys just saturate the unit. He's putting his hands out. He's talking on a cell phone. All right, hold on. It looks like he's going to stop on 80th. Felony stop. Felony stop. Stand by. Turn your side. Yeah, turn the truck off. Stay. Carry, back up. Back up. Turn the truck off and step out. Turn the truck off. Turn the truck off and step out of the vehicle. Turn the truck off and step out of the vehicle. Face down on the ground now. Down. Face down. Do not move. You hear me? Do not move. Clear the truck. Clear the truck. Get off here. Don't clear. Don't clear. All right. Cover. All right. Cover and handcuff. All right. Calm down, everybody. 11H11, 11H11, suspect in custody under control. You got anything on you, bro? No, sir, you, got any, you got any weapons on you? No. No drug? You got no guns on no, knives, sir. right? No. Everybody, everybody slow down, slow down, search him, slow down. Everybody slow down. No, you're good, you're good. Come down. Search him good, search him good. 11H11, under control, suspect in custody, only one. All right, bro, let's go and stand up for me, all right? Tuck one in it. Tuck a, tuck a leg in for me. All right, we're going to be up on three, all right? One, two, three. All right. Yeah. Hey, make it, please. Can I just call him? We'll work on it in a minute, man. You do what this officer tells you, right here. Come here. On the truck. On the truck. OK, on the truck, man. What you running for? Huh? Why'd you run? Why'd you run? You like Dunkin' Donuts or what? Why'd you run, man? You know why I ran, man. Well, tell me why you ran. I'm not saying. Okay. Got any weapons in the truck, sir? I'm sorry? No, no, sir. Okay. I didn't get a chance to boot something, right, Joseph? Okay, brother, don't worry. Is there a baseball cap in the truck, anybody? Take off your boots, yeah. Dude, it's 80th and here's for waiting for the spike. You're still on probation right now? You are? It's him. Cool. We'll take it back. Yeah, man, it's me. I'm not going to lie. It's me. Okay. All right.
Oh. Sorry, That's all right, man. Houston or Robert, I, or no, he robbed Dunkin' Donuts a while ago. I, I don't know about the truck. I took the cash register, man. Okay, okay, okay. I'm no hey, I'm communicating with my officers, all right? I'll let you talk in just a minute. I'm trying to get everything situated. He did a robbery at Dunkin' Donuts. I don't know about the truck. Okay. Y'all hold off on the truck. The money's supposed to be in the center console. Hey, man, can you push the talking edge to my mom? I'm getting arrested, please, man. Can you take him? Yeah, okay, you got do it, but you want to take it? We're going to take it down there. You can take it down there? Okay. You want me to take mine off there, or you want to leave mine we'll, on? We'll do it over Just there. Okay. Leave mine until we get up there. Right. Sorry, he said uh, that he did hijack the, the Dunkin' Donuts. He said all the money was in the center console. We've got a big wad of money in the console. We're going to wait and photograph it for evidence. So also, we, we're going to need this hat because he had the hat on during the robbery. Okay, the, the money we're getting out of the console is all in in separate denominations. All the ones, all the fives, all the tens and twenties are together like it just came out of a cash register drawer, which is the MO for the robbery. He took all the money out of the cash register. So that's really important to note. Plus it looks like he took all the change. We're going to bag everything up for proper evidence. He's even got roll coins in there that I'm sure were in the drawer. You gonna take him back over there to ID him? Yes. I think that's what they're fixing to do anyhow. Did, did you? What? Did you no. Do? It was a strong arm robbery. Okay. Just to went in and uh, pushed the, the clerk back and opened the register and took all the money. Hey, Joseph. I appreciate you uh, pulling over. I appreciate you cooperating with us. Uh, like I said, what I told you, we'll talk uh, to the DA and, and the detectives on the deal. You didn't hurt anybody. I'm glad you didn't have a gun. And I appreciate you thinking about what you were doing during the chase and pulling over, all right? So, uh, like I say, we're going to get you downtown now and try to get you processed in as quick as we can, all right? All right, man. I have family history of law enforcement. I got my brothers in law enforcement. My two uncles are in law enforcement. I was a teacher before this. really wasn't there for me as far as uh, what I wanted to do. So uh, I did a couple ride-alongs with my uncle and uh, liked what I saw. I liked, you know, I liked the team-oriented atmosphere. and. Uh, that's why I did it. I enjoy coming to work every day. All right, right now we've just been dispatched to a domestic dispute in progress. Uh, apparently you have a wife who, Signal 31, which is uh, battered her husband in the head with right now an unknown type of object. Um, apparently he's bleeding from the head and is waiting for us outside the residence, so. 9897. How you guys doing? I'm sitting down doing my paperwork. Okay, hold on. What's your name? Before we start, what's your name? Jerry. Jerry. I gave him my ID. Okay. So what's going on, Jerry? She's, She's upset. Tell me why she's upset. I have a friend of 40 years. Uh-huh. There's a Who, female friend? Oh, male friend. Okay. Now, this is not a jealousy thing. Okay. Trust me. All right. But you know, your closest source is the one that's going to come to you. Okay. This is not a... Hey, I'm submitting. No, I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm listening. Somehow, when you trigger, <clears throat> you see that aggression. Okay. Bro, I was sitting down in my desk, uh. slapped me in the head, and spilled the beer all over. I don't need that problem. But why did she come up and smack in the head? What'd you do to, what'd you well, do to make do her smack in the head? Bro. I just canceled my satellite. But what, she, what, what is she upset Listen, about? What is she going to tell me when I go talk to her? Happen? What do you think she's going to tell me? I, have, I, I haven't touched her. Okay. I'm going to be honest. I'm not saying you touched her. I'm just saying, what I is she going to tell me when I go to, to talk you, to her? I haven't touched that woman. How much have you had to drink today? I, I mean, I, you said you had one. I can smell it coming from me. How much have you drink With today? all due respect, I have had six beers six. in my house. All right, man. Let me talk to her and uh, stay here with this deputy, and I'll be right back. Certainly. Yeah. 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 I, no, I I think think he, he, got, he got, got it. it. He got all right. it. All right. You know, and we'll talk. We're going to talk to you. I'm So tell me from the beginning, why why is he calling us here today? It's friend that came here, and he says that I slept with him, and I did not. I swear I did not. His friend hit on me and I couldn't care less. I don't like this guy and I told him don't bring him here. But he was drunk. He ended up in our bed in the morning at 6.30. He was lying right next to me. Who did, the me. friend or your husband? His friend. Ended up in your bed yes, this morning? Yes, and he me for that. He says I'm the one who led him on. I'm trying to get to the point of why he called us saying... Oh! Of why he's because, saying he was at the because, desk doing work and then... Okay, because he keeps saying I'm a whore, which okay. I'm not, and we've got the neighbor too. She will testify for me. He well, keeps nobody's accusing you of being a whore. You slept, you slept with him, and it's been going on for several, for several, for a long time. That's what he's saying. Yeah, That's what he's saying. I, but I says, why do you keep bringing this guy here? Okay. If if I have a relationship with this guy. Okay. So he goes, ah, forget it. You're a whore, and, and blah blah blah. 
So I came to him, and as I came to him, he was emotion towards me, and I tried to defend myself. He did put his hand, but he did not hurt me. Okay. He was just kind of pushing. Where did this happen at? No, right here, and the beer fell. He had a beer on the, on the, at the desk, desk, and the beer fell. So you guys started the argument. You felt he came at you. Physically, he didn't hurt me, and I didn't hurt okay. him. Okay, well, that's that's fresh. Those are fresh scratches you got on your arms. I mean, this well, one's still kind of bleeding. You got these up here. That's still bleeding. I mean, that's not from a while ago. Really? You don't. Well, well yeah. I'm not going to book him up for that. That's a scratch. Um, don't tell me how to do my job. Why? I just want to know, how I'm did sorry. you, I mean, is he on anything now besides alcohol? He smokes weed. He smokes weed? Yeah. Did, when did, he, did he smoke weed today? I, I imagine. He's got it in the shed. He hides it there. He's got weed. Is there weed anywhere in the house? I took, out and I, took a like, I took a sample and I even went to the police station with it to identify it because I was afraid it was a, a crack. And the police. Did that, you see him smoke any weed today? Oh yeah. Oh no, today no. The well, weekend. When was the last weekend, time you saw him smoke? This weekend. You saw him smoke weed. Yeah, this in weekend? front of in front of me, and I said, "Don't you ever do that." Do you have that still here? Yeah. Do you still have that sample here? You want to come in? Yeah, but if you don't mind. What? Well, no, I don't. I don't want him to be moved. Okay. It's a nice house. Thank you. I don't do drugs. You can believe that. Okay. That's been in my desk. No, it's definitely, I mean, I could what is this? tell just from, it's it's marijuana. It's, that's all it is? That's, this is definitely, this it's is definitely crack. marijuana. No, 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 don't, don't sniff know. it, don't oh sniff it. Oh my God, it's very strong. Yeah, it's it's marijuana. Well, let's go to the shed and show me where, we can find what, where you found it in the shed. I can search the car with your permission? Yeah. Okay. I told him if he goes to work with this in his truck, I will, I will tell his boss. I don't deal with that. I mean, I know he smokes. He's got little... Is there something there? Yeah, he's got a little bit left in it. I mean... Let me see. The end of some roaches, what they oh. call roaches. Oh, there you go. So now you so. know. Is he going to get arrested for that? Uh, I'm going to talk to him about it first. You hey, Jerry. Yes, sir. You got a little bit of a problem, man, with... Uh, you smoke marijuana, man? Nah. This marijuana that I found in your house is coming from where? I don't know. You just... That, no, I'm being honest. That's with my ashtray. So then how did this marijuana get in your house if it wasn't by you? Sir, what you brought in the ashtray, I admit. That I don't know about. Well, if you're the only one that brings marijuana in the house. Sir, I'm being honest with you. Okay. I'm being honest with you. Okay, so how did she get the scratches on her arm? Sir, I'm going to be honest with you. You keep saying that, but you haven't been honest so far. Uh, we had a nice weekend. You know what I mean? Those are fresh. That just happened... No. Either minutes and hour tops. Those the scratches are still bleeding a little bit from the arm. Those scratches well, did not happen I tell you yesterday. What, just, say one. just do it. Just do whatever you want to do. You want to charge me for uh -huh. anything? I swear I haven't touched my wife. Okay. And that's why I walked out this door. I stood here, and this girl that was here, well, she spoke to me. 10:15 for this officer. 31 was 31 over D. there. Okay. I'm being honest. Okay. Right now you're gonna be placed under arrest okay, for domestic battery. Arrest. Okay. No problem. You understand why you're being placed on the rest of the domestic battery? Sir, right? I never... Okay, listen to me. Hey, do it. Just arrest me, man. Ely, turn I got around. a turn job to do in the morning. Listen to me, Jerry. Yes, sir. Okay, you're being placed on the rest, you know, for domestic battery, okay? She has scratches on her arms. She has a scratch. You said you grabbed her by the throat. And also, we also have a witness saying they saw the same thing. Okay? I don't know listen. these things. Okay. I've never had a problem with this situation. Okay. I, I'm humbling, man. That's how honest I've been with you. Jerry, have a seat. Okay, Watch your head get in the All car. All right, well, hold on. What's the matter? Oh, my pants and... What do you mean, what's the matter with your pants? Uh, can we just get out of here? Yeah. Thanks. Hopefully he can change based on the fact he's going to jail tonight. Everybody can change, they just got to be willing to. I started in September 1997 in the Bayless Division with the Lee County Sheriff's Office. We are going from a bedroom community to a metropolitan area due to the land boom at one time, regardless of how many people we have out here at night and how many people move in this area, we're, we're going to have to catch up and, and keep pace with the population. Uh, call reference to a mother and a son fighting. Apparently there was knives involved. Uh, it's a physical fight uh, between the mom and the son. The grandmother's calling us. He left, but now he came back. There he is in the street, I think. What's going on? There was a fight going on between him and her. Um, as, I, as I said, I came in, they were pushing and shoving. I did not like it. I knew it was getting out of hand. I asked them to stop. I wasn't sure what was going on. Tried to reason with them, and that's when I got the phone and said, I'm going to call the police to come help break this up. 
We cannot have this screaming and shouting. Who's been talking to the phone? Okay, who's yeah. this lady over here? Is that his mom? That's his mom. Andrew hey, brother, Taylor. how you doing? Not so good. What's going on? Well, I came home, right, because I was coming home from a friend's house. I haven't eaten in like two days, so I came home to eat something. She comes in here screaming and yelling at me, and then she goes and grabs from my pocket and starts like grabbing at me. Okay. So I'm trying to get her off of me. Okay. And there, I don't. I'm not trying to hit her or anything. She's she's throwing me to the ground. I'm just trying to get her off of me. Okay. Why 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 is she trying to grab your pocket for? Because of a camera. A camera? Is it your camera or her camera? It's a camera. I don't know. You, you don't know, but it don't belong to you. It was in the house. They okay. go through my crap, so I probably find something. Okay. And this is your mom? That's my mom over uh, there. Is that the one you had a physical? Did you fight with her? I just tried to get her off of me. Did you hit her? No. He had the knife. I'd asked him to give it to me. He did take it and throw it to me. Yeah, turn but I told him he doesn't need to have a knife. Here, take I confiscated yourself. these knives a long time ago. I don't want them having knives. Nothing but trouble. Put the water down. Put your hands on top of your head. Let's pat him down real quick. Spread your feet wider. Did you push her? No, just her arms off of me. Just her arm, push off? Because she kept trying to grab me. I want you to understand that you fall under domestic violence statute in the state of Florida. All right, you as a child, you cannot push your mother, you cannot hit her, you can't do any of that. All right, have you ever been arrested before? Never? In this state or any other state? No. Okay. You're not under arrest. All right, but for our safety, we're going to handcuff you. We're going to place you back in one of these cars, and we're going to get both sides of the store, and we'll go from there, okay? All right, what's going to happen? We're going to secure in one of these cars real quick, all right? All right? Relax for me, all right? Now watch your feet there. Ma'am, what about the knife? Okay, uh, that then Angel me. yelled, you know, he took a knife out and was... He Did he open it up? Out. He didn't get a chance to open it. He had, didn't, it, in his hand. He had just... it in his hand. She goes, he's getting the knife out. And I said, PJ, you've got to be kidding me. You put the knife down. This will get you in big trouble. All right. Drop the knife. Give it to me now, and then I went over, and then, my, then he did kind of throw it on the. On I say he, he complied. He complied yeah, with your demands, right. Yeah, okay. and I said, please don't get yourself in trouble with this. Okay. And I have had lecture with him about you don't need to carry a knife. He says it's right. self-defense. I said, you know, knives are just going to get you in trouble. All right. Let me talk to you, young lady. That's his mother. Let your mom. Yeah. What happened? He came home. I I, knew, I noticed earlier that my camera was gone, and he mm -hmm. does have sticky fingers. He goes through my room. He takes what he wants, and I'm kind of. I asked him to stop doing that. Right. I don't like my stuff taken. Right. So I realized my camera was gone, and when he came home, he got in the refrigerator. And I'm like, PJ, did you take my camera? If you did, please just give it back. Right. I don't have your camera, and I've been gone for two days. Blah, 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 blah. I said, PJ, just please give me my camera back. Okay. Yeah, I always blame stuff on me, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, well, like the last time you told me you didn't have it, you had it right here in your front pocket, and that's when I went then, like that. And I felt it, it right, right there. Okay. I mean, it's pretty, you know, right. you know, okay. it's a camera. And I'm like, that's it. My camera's right here. I had my hand on it, and that's when he started shoving me. I'm like, just give me my camera. That's all I want okay. is my camera. Shove you. When you say he shoved you, how do you shove you? Open hands? Like this. Okay. And then you have any marks I ended on you? up just, just, um, I had like a little scratch right there. I'm kind of shaking. Okay. Little one right here, but okay. Anything on your arm or anything like that? I don't think so. The only okay. thing he did do is he did kind of go like this when no. he had me on the floor. Tilt your head back for me. All right. But I mean, it wasn't nothing like he was serious, you know, like he was trying to seriously choke me, but yeah, but he was still, still he was still in a fight with you, right? Or there's actual physical punch and right. fight or I just told him, I just want my camera back, just give me my camera back, it's right here in your pocket. No, okay. no, it's unfortunate, like I told him, that you fall under domestic violence in the state of Florida, okay. You're the mom, you have a right to discipline your children. They cannot push you, they cannot hit you, they can't do all that stuff. Your son's gonna be placed under arrest for domestic violence battery, okay? Now don't you get all bent out of shape or crying about, he chose to put hands on you, okay? You understand that, right? He chose to do that. He just has a lot of anger. Okay. I don't know why. Okay. All right, this young man will come up here and he'll give you some paperwork to take care of real quick, okay? All right. Hey, brother man, what's your name? Paul. Paul? What, what's going on, Paul? Well, I came home, like I said, and uh, I go in the refrigerator to get something to eat. That's the first thing I do. Okay. And she's screaming and yelling at me about this camera. All right, let, let, let's talk about the camera. You know the camera's not yours. Yeah. And you took it. Why? Because she goes in my room and takes my crap all the time. She's your mom. 
Yeah, but what what? Uh, it don't make no sense. You you took her camera. Are you going to take pictures of friends? Or are you going to take pictures of what? Why did you take the camera? I mean, how old are you? Nineteen. Uh, your your mom has marks. All right. There's you said it. Everybody said it. You and your mom were in a physical fight. Okay. You're going to be arrested for domestic violence battery. It's a misdemeanor charge. Okay. They're going to take care of the paperwork inside, and then you're going to be taken downtown to Lee County Jail. All right. Hang tight for me.